Hello ladies and gentlemen, Eric here with aircompressorpartsonline.com once again. Today we're going to talk about uh, pressure switches. Real popular part here at Master Tool Repair. Get a lot of questions on what type of pressure switch is the best replacement and what types of switches are there. And essentially first off, let's uh, first talk about why you need to replace your pressure switch. Uh, usually you will have to if the uh, well, the unit doesn't cut in and cut out when it's supposed to at the correct pressure. Uh, this is uh, the brains of your compressor. So it's an electric switch, but also a pneumatic switch. So, uh, for instance, if you know you have power going from the wall to the outlet to your motor, and you have power to your motor, but not to uh, the pressure switch, uh, well, then that's obviously a, a problem right there. But as well as if it doesn't cut in at the correct pressure or cut out at the designated pressure, uh, on your tank, you usually have the maximum pressure of 125 psi, 150 psi, or what have you. Um, then, of course, that's another uh, uh, hint that you need to replace your pressure switch. Also, if the compressor pressurizes too high so that your safety release valve blows off, that's a telltale sign that your pressure switch is defective and not sensing the pressure correctly. Uh, so, it is again a pressure switch uh, which is electrical pneumatic switch. Uh, let's see, these are different types that we sell. Uh, these are very popular types from a square D switch right here to a, a furnace or Hubble brand right here. And, and this is a popular switch using import units mainly. Um, you can tell because of the red push pull button on top. We have, of course, the, uh, an import style as well. It's, it's a four way switch, it's a furnace style. And a very popular unit, probably the most popular switch we sell, which is a Condor, using a lot of Husky, Campbell Husfeld compressors, uh, many different types of compressors. Uh, but essentially what you'll need to know about your pressure switch to find a correct replacement, you're going to want to uh, ideally find your particular part number and, via your model number uh, in your manual. So if you have an original OEM part number, use that. Certainly that will ensure you get the correct replacement. But sometimes there are anomalies, sometimes the switch, uh, will, you know, the manufacturer will change the brand that the switch used and it may be a little bit different, but functionally the same. Uh, so, you know, you may have a different connection, uh, possibly a different thread size. It happens every now and then, but to ensure you get the, you know, the most, uh, I say current switch for your model, you know, look it up in your manual by model number. If you don't have that, what you can do is you can uh, look at a few different specs here and match up uh, one of these switches uh, for what you need. For instance, uh, the first thing to look at is definitely the pressure setting. Uh, this right here, uh, this furnace switch, is a cut-in pressure of 90 psi, cut-in cut-out pressure of 120 psi. And typically it will state that either on a little label on the outside of the switch or inside the cover, but it will have the cut-on pressure and the cut-off pressure. Obviously it's the first and foremost, most important spec you want to uh, look for on your pressure switch. Um, so certainly look for that. They're rated on our website uh, by pressure rating, so it's easy to match up. Also, uh, the on-off switch. You know, find that if yours has an auto on or auto off, um, you know, certainly look for one with the switch as well. It's kind of nice, uh, you know, to have its convenience. Typically you'll leave it in auto so it can, you know, automatically shut itself on and off. But on-off switch is something to look at. Also, the unloader valve. And if yours has an unloader valve, which most modern compressors do, for the bleeder line to attach, which this uh, bleeder line routes to the check valve uh, at your tank. Little tube comes in here, uh, excels, uh, expels the excess pressure out of the pump head and out of the line, so it can restart easily. So very important little guy here, make sure yours has an unloader valve. And this is a compression fitting right here, very standard type of fitting. Um, your switch, uh, the order say, may have a different type of unloader valve fitting. For instance, right here it's a 90 degree and it's a quick connect type fitting. You'll notice that, no compression nut, so you would just take your nylon plastic tube, you would forcefully uh, kind of insert into this fitting, it would lock in place. So it's a self locking quick connect. So that's the uh, same uh, size, quarter inch, but it's a different type of fitting. And you can easily uh, reroute the tube, just use a quarter inch nylon and you can uh, use this if you have a compression style. So the unloader valve, something to look for, certainly. And of course, the bottom manifold. Uh, you wanna, if you have a single port switch and f or a four port switch, um, you wanna go ahead and match yours up and we do uh, categorize these online by single port and four port. And what I mean by that is, of course, the number of threads on the manifold or ports, in other words. Uh, these are quarter inch, uh, female, very standard type. All of these are gonna be a uh, quarter inch as well some male 
threads, some female threads. Uh, that's easily remedied if you have a, a female thread um, and you need a male threaded uh, port, simply uh, install one of these adapters, just a quarter inch by quarter inch pipe nipple, about an inch long. Pick it up uh, here or in your local hardware store, simply thread it in and voila, you have a male connection. So uh, that's something you want to look for. But uh, this is a single port and this is a four-way, which of course will have accessory ports for say your uh, pressure gauge for your tank pressure and for your uh, safety release valve, uh, of course. Uh, and of course another a port here typically for say your regulator assembly, which will uh, you'll pipe your outlet regulator out of this port. So uh, four-way allows for a different accessories to plug into the uh, pressure switch. So these are a few different very popular styles. We do offer certainly more wide variety on our website. Just uh, anywhere on our website, go to the top tab, generic parts, and click on pressure switches. And you can see by brand, by pressure setting, by uh, how many ports. There's a lot of different criteria. Uh, but there's a lot of photos up there, specifications, everything you need. If you still need uh, some more information, uh, feel free to email us or call a sales associate for more information. And we'll see you next time.